Island 2. We are back in the UDK mobile build. This is the December 2010 build. Um, it's a mobile build, so it's a tiny bit different than the uh, the regular UDK build, but nothing that we're doing here is, is gonna be any different. So um, the first thing that we need to do is import our skeletal mesh. And there's two ways of doing that. We're, well, first, we need to bring up our content browser. And then we can either right click in a dead spot anywhere and get up to import. This menu might not be showing up, but when you right click, it'll bring up a menu that at the top of it is import. And then down at the bottom left, you can see there's an import button right there. Do that as well. We're gonna point it at our folder that we wanted, which is cat demo UDK export. And I'm going to pick the one that we exported, which is this guy right here. And this is a PSK file. And now when we bring it in, Unreal is gonna ask us which package and group we want it in. So I'm gonna make a new package called cat demo three. And then the group, I'm gonna call skeletal meshes. And this is just for your organizational purposes. And then the name of whatever you want the skeletal mesh to be right there. And then uh, assume my coordinates is going to be off for setting out a cat rig like we've done. So hit okay. It's gonna process, process those mesh triangles. And then going to focus this in on our character, which is sitting right there. I'm going to double click on our skeletal mesh to bring it up. And then we can rotate around to see him. And there's there he is, he looks about right. Now one thing I'm gonna do is add a material to him right now, just so that we're not looking at this default um, Unreal material. And I've made a material for him all right, already. So this is something that I'm sure there's plenty of other tutorials on how to make the materials. I'm going to just apply a material by being in the Anim Set Editor on the mesh tab with my mesh, skeletal mesh selected, and then down here in the skeletal mesh tab in mesh, a lot of mesh talk here. Um, down in this skeletal mesh tab, there's materials, and then you know ID zero is basically our mat ID one. And so if I had a multiple, like a multi sub object material with a, with a mesh that had multiple material IDs on it, they would show up here if they were imported properly. But because my guy only has one, there's only one, and there's a material, and he's ready to go. Um, you know, while you're in this view, if you if it's dark where you want it to where you want it to look at it, you can hold down L and then move your mouse around. And that moves the light. It's good for previewing. And then the next thing that I'm going to do now is create an anim set. So the anim set is our container for animations in in UDK. So we do that by going up to the file menu and new anim set. And then just like the last dialog box, we're going to name and uh, you know, give it some folders and organization. So the package is cat demo three, which is what we wanted, same as before. Group is skeletal meshes. I'm going to change that to animations. Actually, I'm going to call it anim set. So, and then the name is whatever you want it to be. Toothy walk anims set. There we go. All right. So now, if we go to the anim tab right here, you'll see that we have the anim set that I just created with no animations in it. It's just a container. And now I'm going to go to the file menu, file, import PSA find the PSA that we exported from 3D Studio Max a couple minutes ago, and that's this guy right here. And then when I click on and bring it in, you can see that I have my four sequences that I brought, and as I click on them, the anim set editor here basically clicks between the animations that I have selected. And so if I go down to the bottom and I change this from one shot to, to loop, I click on this button and then press play, you can see that my character is now doing his thing, walking to the right, now he's walking to the left, forward, backwards, so on and so forth. So that's bringing in our skeletal mesh, making an anim set, and importing our PSA animations into that anim set. Uh, one thing I wanted to note is that I was also successful importing uh, FBX animations using the same cat rig. Uh, I just basically went into Max, Export FBX, and then in the FBX dialog, there's an animation range, and I basically just tagged kind of the same thing I did in this in the beginning of this tutorial where I set 20 keyframe ranges and exported out four different animations. And then you just go ahead and just import them in here. So I mean, if I wanted to with that same rig, I can go and just keep adding animations. You know, if I go back into Max, do a couple more animations, I can just say import PSA. And as long as I'm selected on this anim set, it'll just keep adding them into that anim set. So there you go. Here's our character doing his thing, walking. And in our next tutorial, we'll go through getting them into the uh, the Jazz Jackrabbit tutorial demo so that we can actually control them with our iPhone. All right, we'll see you then.